All right, guys, here we have a sprinter plyo lunge. My goodness, I'm telling you guys right now, this is tough. I'll show you a modifier, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to step back into a sprinter start, okay? So I'm back into that sprinter start. Now look, guys, right here, I'm hinging over to take my hands down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and jump, up and jump, up and jump. Mainly, though, what you can see out of this, I'm not rounding my back. I'm basically pushing my glute back. I don't even care how far this leg has to go back to make sure I touch. Up and jump, up and jump. How do we modify? So we know in our deadlift, we hinge, right? We hinge. So here's the modification without a single jump, okay? All I want you to do is come up and touch. Up and touch. If you cannot jump, but you can hinge, you are going to love how you feel in this movement. Now, if you can go lower, cool. Go low. I want that stomach connected to the quad. There you go without jumping. And let me tell you something. If you think you're modifying with that movement, wait till you feel how much you burn out from that bending. It's incredible, but I can't say it enough. Hinge. The word is hinge. Do not round your spine. Hinge back. Use that glute. You'll feel it into your hips. You'll feel it all the way through your glute, hamstring, and your quad. That move is tough, guys. Let's go.